to show you several different effective techniques used with the floating line. We're going to talk about how to read water, how to fish the surface fly, the near surface fly, and the wet fly in a variety of different water types. Here behind me is a perfect example of what the ledge rock looks like. And you can see the ledge rock right out in front of me. The water flows two feet over the ledge rock and then drops off immediately into four to five feet of water. Again, this is an ideal holding area for steelhead. I'm actually tightening, tightening the loop right around the collar or the hook shank of the fly. It's not tied on directly to the eye of the hook, but tie it on right around the collar and I get a nice straight pull. We're going to start off with a short cast. I could easily get a fish on my first cast. But the line, leader, and the fly has to roll out in a nice tight line so the fly begins to fish effectively on the touchdown of the surface. We're going to work out each cast in about two foot increments and that way I'm covering every foot of water. I don't want to overcast the line. Even if we can cast 120 feet in this water, the currents are so much different 120 feet out that I'd lose control on the skating fly. As we get a little bit further out, I'm going to have to begin to mend the line. We want a little bit of a belly in the line, and that allows the fly to come across at a nice constant speed. There we go. There we go. Fish on. Hey, hey. Well, I knew they were in here this morning. It felt too good. I don't know why we couldn't find one on a skater, but they sure like this wet fly. Uh, nice little hatchery buck. They're all fun. Keep them in the current. Let them get a little strength left. 